Hello everyone, today we are going to learn about the Freenet protocol. Freenet protocol is packet oriented and uses self-contained messages. These messages comprises of a randomly generated 64-bit transaction ID, hop to live limit and a depth counter. Hop to live limit is set by the originator of the message and its value is decremented at each hop. For security reasons, the message do not terminate when its value reaches 1, rather the message is forwarded with some finite probability having its value as 1. Depth counter is just a counter that is incremented at each hop. Now let's understand how Freenet works. The protocol has nodes requesting for data to be shared with the other nodes. So first let's see how a request is made. This is my sending node that wants to share some data, but firstly it needs the acceptance from the remote nodes. So it sends the data message to the remote node. This message consists of a transaction ID, initial hop to live limit, depth counter and a search key. Now the remote node checks the data store for the key and if the key is found, it sends the data and starts a timer. Now if the request is successful, the remote node sends the data back containing the requested data and address of the node which supplied it. If the request is unsuccessful on that particular node, then the remote node sends the message to the next most likely node from its routing table. Now if the request is unsuccessful because the hop to live limit is completely used up trying to satisfy the request, the remote node replies back with the message, then the sending node decrements the value of hop to live limit. Now moving further on how data is inserted, the sending node sends the message consisting of the transaction ID, initial hop to live limit, depth counter and search key. Now if the insertion is made in the remote node which results in key collision then the remote node sends message back containing the existing data then it checks the signature of both the keys and verify whether the new version is valid or not if it is valid the new version re is replaced replaces the older version as you can see over here now if the insertion run out of node then the uh, remote node sends the failure message telling that not as many nodes could be contacted as asked. Finally, if the insertion experienced no such problem, then we can say that the insertion can be carried out. The remote node sends the message saying that now you can insert the data. Then the sending node will send the data and when the remote node receives the data, it stores it. Let's consider a simple example. We are defining blue lines as data request, the green line as data reply, and red lines as request failed. I'm having six nodes where A is my starting node and B is the node having the desired data. So A sends the request to B. B is not having the data, so it sends the request to the next most likely node that is C. C is also not having the data and cannot further forward my request. So the request fails here and comes back to B. B sends to E, E to F and from F to B a cycle is formed. Here the request is failed again as the node refuses the request it has already seen. So request failed is from B to F then F to E. Now E sends the, data, uh, sends the request to D that is having the data then B will reply back to E from E to B and finally B to A. Now I'm having the desired data. My transaction is at this moment complete and this clearly explains the Freenet protocol. Thank you.